A Geraldton man has survived a brush with death after being rescued from floodwaters near Greenwich. Andrew Kaziki told Nine News how he risked his own life to save his mate, who was swept out to sea after the river broke its banks. It started as a man swimming in the swollen Greenwich River for a thrill. Within minutes, he was swept out to sea by the fast-flowing current. A group of locals had gathered at Cape Burney after the Greenwich River broke its banks yesterday afternoon. A sandbar wedged between the river mouth and the ocean, obliterated by floodwaters. By the time Michael Paul entered the river at 1.30, conditions had deteriorated. Michael went for a swim. He got washed out to sea. Um, he got yeah, 150 metres or so offshore. From the beach, Andrew Koziki saw his mate was in trouble. There was a bloke there with a surfboard, grabbed the surfboard and um, yeah, just went out there and got him pretty much. He dragged him onto his surfboard and brought him to shore, limp, unconscious and barely breathing. Rescuers began CPR, keeping the 36-year-old alive until an ambulance arrived. He was then rushed to hospital. Authorities have urged locals not to risk their lives for a thrill that easily could have turned deadly. The latest this evening is that the man's been discharged from hospital and he's now recovering at home. He told his friends if he'd been in the water for just 20 seconds longer, he wouldn't have survived. He did take in a lot of water, but is now otherwise OK. Meanwhile, the floodwaters here at Greenwich River have receded, but authorities warn they could rise again and the situation is potentially dangerous. They say people should be very cautious when entering the water. Water here, Lou.